Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about connecting to Iskable server in Visual Studio 2022 and we will create a database and database tables as well as we will run queries from here into our Iskable server. So if you have not uh, if you are not seeing the server explorer window, now you can go to this view and click on this server explorer now it will appear if you click on this uh, connect to database now it will show you a uh, dialog like this but if it does not appear it means that you do not have a scale server uh, support in visual studio it will automatically show you a dialog to install that and uh, when you click yes so it will download it from the uh, official site of uh, scale uh, of Visual Studio and it will uh, add it uh, into your Visual Studio. Now here you need a server name so uh, when you have a local installation you can uh, uh, refer to server name by three ways either you uh, write here local host and now if I come here to this database tab now you will see our databases over here. Now uh, the second method is to put a dot here now you can see that we have a dot here and uh, our databases appear again so dot also refer to local installation and uh, you can go to your uh, SSMS and copy your uh, fully qualified uh, server name from here copy this and you can go here to Visual Studio and paste it here now I do not want to select uh, a database here uh, we will create a database uh, later so I'll click OK now you can see that we are connected to our master DBO so if I right click on this and um, you can see it's uh, you can delete this you can change view you can modify connection close connection new query and you can uh, browse in uh, SQL Server Object Explorer and you can rename this and you can check its properties as well now if you want to create a new database so you can right click on this and uh, create new SQL Server database so you can click on this and uh, I will name this uh, uh, we will put our server name this here so I'll control V it here as I already copied it now I'll give the database name here uh, demo DB and now I'll click OK to create this database now you can see that demo db is created now if i explore this now you can see tables inside this view stored procedure functions synonyms types and assemblies all we have in our scale server management studio we have here as well now uh, if you have this you do not need to install uh, scale server management studio now if i right click on this i'll add a new uh, table now it has given us this uh, designer as well as uh, this query so you can create the table through query as well as through designer now it automatically takes uh, this id as a primary key and it automatically generate this now we will add in a few columns so i'll uh, add in name and i will uh, make its uh, uh, nwarchar 50 and similarly i will add f name and uh, i'll make this uh, n worker 50 and now we will come here and i will auto increment i make this identity in auto increment so i'll use identity and here i'll use one comma one and now i'll close this now to create this uh, 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 table we have created the table you can change the name of this table from here so I'll name this uh, std underscore table and uh, or I will name this uh, demo underscore table now this is our table now you have to execute this to execute for execution of this you come to this update click on this update and then you press update database 
now it is saying here that update for desktop is uh, updated complete successfully so uh, it means our update is completed now if I refresh this and if I go to this uh, tables and I right click on this and refresh this now you can see the table here now if I right click on this and uh, if I go to this uh, show data so you can see here we do not have any data here so now I'll add in some data here so I'll add mik and Khan and similarly I will add uh, Ali and uh, Ahmad and then I will uh, add in uh, uh, Tanvir and I'll add goal now I've added this now our uh, add, uh, data is added into this so I'll control this it uh, now we will uh, show the data uh, in a query so I'll uh, right click on here on this and uh, new query so now here we will select static from um, demo table this one and now if I execute this now you can see it uh, shown as this these two rows we have added these two rows now we have added three but uh, it has shown us these two if I go here we haven't press a tab to create um, a value or an ID and save this data now it is saved now if I execute this again now you can see three records are shown here so in this way we can run uh, queries from here now you can also uh, delete the data from the designer if I go here and uh, show data this and now if I right click on this last record and if I go to delete and uh, yes and now you can see the record is deleted now if I refresh this now you can see only two records now if I go to this is KVL and now if I execute this now you can see only two records so in this way you can the connect to uh, SQL server in your Visual Studio and you can run all the commands. You can do this in a project as well. So you do not have to switch between uh, SSMS and Visual Studio. You can do all your jobs here. So I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.